Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this Netflix looking style layout. I'm using the Titan Beta for Krypton skin. Let me give you a quick walkthrough. It's pulling, the first row is pulling from in progress and recommended movies from my movie library. Recently added movies. Next episode that's coming up. My TV show library. I've added the Zen New movies. Zen New TV shows. Exodus most popular. T um most popular movies, excuse me. And Exodus people watching. It's also from the movie category. Now this is the Specto most popular TV shows. Specto people watching TV shows. This is Bob. I have the box set set up. This is Bob IMDB 250 TV. And the weather. And on the side over here we have is your menu, a movie, TV shows, and so on and so forth. Now let's go into system and skin settings. Now we're gonna start from home screen layout, and the layout I picked. It's Netflix style home menu layout number two. That's this one. You have two of them, but I chose this one. Go down, show large thumbnails ticked on. The layout for widgets, landscape, large Netflix. Show all widgets. Detach from main menu focus. Take that on. Auto rotate widgets. All widgets. I I put that to all widgets. And um widget auto rotation inter interval 60 seconds. Enable circular navigation. Enable zoom effect on focus widgets. So that's that's it for the that part. Now configure shortcuts and edit main shortcuts. Now I move these up and down. You can move them up and down the way you wanted to have your layout. I believe pictures and music was on the top. Now if you don't have no music in your library it will show widgets it will show that it has a widget on it it'll be empty so on the home screen you'll just see a blank space there so i just did disabled the widgets i went by going to widgets and when it says select widget you hit none all right so for the movies let's start from the top for the movies, I've added in progress and recommended movies. And the um, layout for widget is going to say none. Use global setting. That's the Netflix large style, you know, um, home screen menu. Widget 2 is recently added movies. 
To go by selecting these, if it's not already selected for you, you go to Select Widget. You go to your video library. It's Movies. Here's your recently added movies. Or you could put it as title. And so forth. Madonna, you could add more widgets if you want to. But in this scenario, in the movie category, I have two rows. So in TV shows, I have um for widget number one, I have next episode. That's all I need is the next episode. I don't like to see like, you know, different episodes on the on, uh, on the home menu. So I just put it on next episode. On widget number two, I selected T V show title. So it showed it will show every T V show that I have in my library. It will show it on the um home menu. I've added this add on to the home screen. You could go by doing that by you hit add. Once you hit add, you go down to add on, video add on, and you select your add on that you wish. Hit Zen again, just to show you, and you would create it right here. Create me a new item to here. Delete that. Now, for the widget, widget number one, I have Zen new movies, and widget number two I have Zen new TV shows. So you would just go to select widget. You go to add-on, video add-on, Zen, movies, and you could pick any one of these. I selected new movies. And you would use as widget. And the layout for widgets, landscape, large, Netflix. The same thing with this, with Exodus. You could put whatever widget you like, but the layout in landscape, large, Netflix. Widget number two, you could add three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows. Same thing with Specto. I'm going to just breeze through this, you guys. I don't want to make another long video. I don't want it to last 30 minutes. It's the same thing for all of these. Just add in your widgets. Now let's go down to background settings. For global background, I navigated to... You could put a um a custom single image or a custom multi image. I navigate to where my 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 pictures are located at. Allow override of global background. That's ticked on. Background overlay texture color. But when in there, the color I chose was the dark one right here left it on 25 percent then I hit save the multi image and random fan on background put that on five seconds enable background animation is ticked on you can leave it off if you wish Randomized image is ticked on. Now we're going down one more time. Media library views. 
show fan art background show clear logo if available I have that on footer style for media Kodak info <coughs> now you have different choices I chose the large icon colors for video information use extend of video info dialog is ticked on enable indicator for watched items color for indicator background put that on red because I want to have that Netflix style look color for indicator image or text put it on white enable indicator for in progress items is ticked on color for indicator background is green color for indicator image or text is white enable indicator for movie sets is on color for indicator background is blue and this is white that's enabled color for indicator background is yellow that's for the indicator for unwatched episodes and the text is red indicator if item is playing or is recording that's on I think it was on by default so I left it alone so next we're gonna go down to forced views left this alone playback and OSD style or OSD buttons use rounded icons in OSD use gradient color effect for OSD panel volume display you have I believe three choices you have basic classic or modern I went with classic video playback show plot in video info panel is ticked on show media flag under the plot is on auto show OSD info panel on video playback start is four seconds show OSD info panel on pause and seek that's ticked on you would have these settings right there I believe that's how it came show current weather in the video info and video on screen display I take that on style for media Kodak info large icon color that's this one show clear art if available at top right of OSD panel that's ticked on Enable all the slideshow, extra fan art, slideshow, show artist logo on full screen music playback, always visible. Show artist biography on OSD while playing music, that's on. Animate music background, that's ticked on. Now playing info bar and background. I left these alone I didn't disable anything I just left these alone now our next category general skin settings went all the way down to use extended layout for weather take that on do not show footer bar I left that alone the busy animation color I put that on red this is the color I chose that's this one settings for header configure header 
for all windows I have the as you can see on the top right I have the title clock and weather and configure header for home screen let's back out of here real quick the home screen on the top right I just have the clock and the um and the weather just real small let's go back I believe we were right here okay you have your different options of what you want to put there you could disable it for a much cleaner look or you just want the clock or you want a logo weather and as this is just for the home screen use compact windows 10 style header that makes it smaller set info line for subheader I left it at auto detect here's your weather icons default you can select different weather fan art select studio icons I select colored I think you have white or colored I select the colored one Enable weather alert icon overlay if supported by weather add-on. I take that on. Enable skin helper artwork lookups for add-ons. I believe that was on by default. Allow YouTube lookup for trailer if no trailer exists. That's on. And display tags labels for episode on poster. That's on. The next category is color themes. I didn't mess with that. Go down one more time. Custom color settings. So the text for header, as you can see on the top, is yellow. I chose yellow so I could see it better when it's on the home screen. Shadow color for header. I use dark material design and I use black that's the one I used and I left the this on a hundred percent header panel color same thing Scroll up to material design. Choose one of these. Say you choose this and it says 51%. You will scroll down and you will put it to, to your liking to how light or dark you want it. I'll leave it on 40 and then hit save. Text color for footer is red. Shadow color for footer, same thing. Material design. I use the dark color and I put it on 65%. It says 75% here, but it's really 65%. The footer panel color is 65. Color for buttons in the skin, that's 65. Focus color for buttons in the skin, that's red. 
text color for buttons in the skin is white. As you can see, is white. Focus text color for buttons in the skin. I chose black. It's on 100%. Now all of these that says black, just remember I went to the color palette, material design, and here's the black. Focus active color for radio button and spin controls. Put that on red. General panel color. Put that on 76 and it's on black. It says 75 once again, but it's 76. General text color is white. General text color for highlights and headers. That's um, also white. I just chose this one and saved it and that was it. Home main menu, sub menu panel color. Same thing, black. It's on 75. Home main menu, sub menu, unfocused text color. That's on white. Home menu, sub menu, focused text color. That's also white. Focus color for home tiles and widgets, that's red. Scroll bar background color, that's black, it's on 65. Scroll bar unfocused color, that's red. Scroll bar focus color is blue. As you can see, it turns blue. Side blade option menu panel color. That's also black, but it's on 80. Side blade options menu text color is red. Label overlay on posters and thumbs panel color. That's black, and it's on 65%. Label overlay on posters and thumbs text color is white. Border color for unfocused widget tiles and home. That's white. Oh, actually, excuse me, it's none. Now we're on the playback and OSD custom color settings. OSD panel color is black at 75%. OSD panel primary text color is white. That's on none. OSD panel secondary text color, that's red. OSD panel secondary text color shadow, none. Progress bar background color, left it on none. OSD progress bar border color, it's on white. Progress bar color is red. Progress bar buffer cage color is white. White. OSD buttons color focus is red. Diffuse color for lyric overlay is black at 80%. Now the media library views. Media detail panel color is black at 75%. Media detail general text color is white. And have that on none. Media details header highlight color is red. That's none. Media list item text color unfocused is white. Excuse me. Media list item text color focus is black. It's black at 100%. And media list item focus color is red. That's all the way on the bottom is red.
as you can see. And that's it, guys. Those are all the color changes to get this type of um, Netflix look. And let me show you let me play something for you so I could show you how to stand look we'll go and play let's play this let me show you the views the different views they have So all the color settings that I just showed you is how exactly how this is looking right now. So you can pause it. See we have the color buttons on the bottom. You have your description right there on the top. You have your little weather art right there. Now, to get to this side of the menu, you just hit the back button. Well, for me, on my Android device, I hit the back button, and this is what I get. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Thank you.